Listen. So there's a lot of Christmas movies out on Netflix, some with sequels, some with series, some that are lying about their stats, but there was one that caught my attention. One that bopped its way to the top because it had exactly what I've been looking for. Let me explain. So Vanessa is a baker who gets accepted into this royal baking competition where the winner not only gets a prize, but gets to make the cake for the royal wedding. However, she doesn't want to go because it's almost Christmas and she's still acting all depressed because her ex dumped her. Maybe it's time to move on. I am just not ready to. Talk about not breaking free. She goes out to the city where this magical guru lets her know the ending of the movie, but then runs into her ex who's clearly moved on. Stacy. Stacy DeNovo. I'm sure Paul mentioned me. Actually, no, he didn't. Was he supposed to? Damn. Like, I know some girls who get peeved if the barista gets their name wrong. Imagine your ex neuralizing you out of his mind and you met his mama. She decides to take on the competition because it could be the start of something new. They fly over, land in Whoville where she sees the same dude who knows the future, and meets the competition who she went to school with. They knew I had talent. Oh yeah, like when you sauce Professor Kendall's berries? <laughs> She's on her way to get another pan when, what in the parent strap? Yo, this casting is fantastic. I love how at no point in the 13 hour flight did she even look up what the famous princess who she was competing for looked like, but after they both realize they look like Vanessa Hudgens, they just go their separate ways. Corbin 2's daughter then asks her daddy why him and Vanessa have not had a thing, and he pretty much just goes, Ow! And so Prince and Vanessa's maid breaks down to them how they're actually long distant cousins. Three generations ago, your great grandmother's cousin Cecil fled the country after a dalliance with a vulgar American divorcee. You're calling my nana a hoe? I want to be you. I want to switch places with you. Get out. I love how they're never touching. Like, we've all seen those doppelganger tutorials on YouTube that shows you how to do it yourself. So it's funny when a feature film is following those exact same rules of not crossing the line. I'm not saying I'm expecting an enemy or anything like that, but a Prometheus would have been cool. Watch me. I'll do the fingering. After getting a quick look at the body double, fake Princess Vanessa gets a glimpse of her new fake husband, bad accent and all. No, 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 not at all. You seem to keep staring at it. Oh, well, I, I, I have a lazy eye. Oh. And like the hallmark of every corny movie in my lifetime, you know other things are bound to get switched as well. You're in love with Edward. And you're in love with Kevin. Ugh. Well, this wasn't supposed to happen. The princess falls in love with the baker because he's way more down to earth and she's way more chill. The baker falls in love with the prince who she teaches to help those in need by buying presents. But then Mark Ryland's 2.0 keeps popping up because he has a hunch that something fishy is going on. And well, he does come off as annoying, right? He's supposed to be like the comedic part of it. He keeps getting the bad end of the stick. Like... This guy's just doing his job. He is the prince's right-hand man, so you kind of need people like him or else, you know, people get Ned Stark. The original two are able to make it back for the competition, which they not only win the award for, but as they're getting it presented to them... You wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> Try me. I can explain. I already got you. They break down what's going on to their mates, and Princess Vanessa pretty much confesses her undying affection to her boo. But I suppose I found out I'm just a normal girl. And normal girls. They fall in love with normal boys. That's one way of calling him unextraordinary. The real Vanessa, for whatever reason, decides to dip even though a royal prince is asking for her hand. I can't let you do this. Uh, Stacy, Stacy, wait. I gotta go my own way. And just like the boy Zach, this prince rushes after her and if winning the gold medal wasn't enough, Yeah, they, they decide to work this out. Vanessa ends up getting her own shop. These two end up together, and in the biggest twist of events, it turns out that the royal baking competition she won ended up being for her own wedding. So, so she practically designed her own wedding cake. Yes, sweetheart? You're a real princess now, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you guys for checking out this video. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Uh, I actually had a whole list of like Christmas movies that people had recommended to me, like nostalgic ones, and I was going to do a Here Is Out with it, but I didn't have enough time since I, I was traveling. But there's a bunch that I want to do for next year, maybe a bunch of like, I don't know, taking the holidays into account and kind of like what I did with the Hocus Pocus one. So if there's any Christmas ones, you got a whole year to recommend until next year. But uh, other than that, I got a couple of other videos that I may be working on right now that I'll be sending out. I'm curious to know your thoughts on this. Any other ones for the end of the year 
for 2018 that you want me to cover as we get into the new year i have a whole top 10 coming a whole pretty much 2018 breakdown that's coming this way but i'm curious to know your thoughts what's the best christmas show movie on netflix that other one i know a lot of people have been talking about this one right here <laughs> it, I saw it. It's okay. I'm not going to make a, a let me explain on it, even though some people ask, because uh, honestly, I think that the most interesting part about it is how Netflix has just been straight up lying about the numbers that it's bringing in. But yeah, Netflix, you do what you got to do. I'm curious to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll send you a copy of Spring Breakers.